the lower one introducing the new improved Max Slash. Tell me uh, what you notice about this beauty. Anything different at all? Anything different? Tell me what you think of the looks. Okay, now don't worry, this will be in my on the bench series, but we put a heat sink and a fan on here. I have a huge Traxxas servo. I was actually going to try something different. I actually bought the adapter plate and I have a different servo, uh, but I couldn't get this horn to mount. So I do have a new one coming that will fit a standard servo. That maybe I'll try in a different car, but check out this pretty blue right here. This is a hot racing servo saver. The whole linkage set up right there. You can see very pretty, very nice. You can see now when we touch the tires, we're moving the servo. Before, we would touch the tires and they would just move really, really easily. And I think that was the problem with this thing maybe flipping so easy is that when you're driving, um, you would hit something and it would just command the wheels to go over and it would go, it would just flip. And also, I also had a problem with the trim. I would set it one way, it would go straight, you turn around and it would go left. You'd, you'd set it up and then you'd come back and then it would go right. And I just saw a video, RC Guy Garage had the same problem couldn't get this the trim set and that was one of my biggest things that i had here so it's like trying to do a speed run it was really really hard because we couldn't do it so i'm going to try another speed run see if we can't get a couple more miles an hour out of this thing if i can keep it straighter but uh so we're going to check into that so real quick before we get into get into this for those of you that supported my last two videos thank you very much i greatly appreciate the support now we don't have to agree on everything but you know, being childish and saying that I don't know how to drive a toy car and that it's a max that's going to flip over. It's not a max. It has parts, but this is a low center of gravity. That's kind of the whole point of a low center of gravity, that it should stick to the ground. Now, that's the kind of driving I like to do. I don't go 10, 20 feet in the air, right? I like doing this. I like being on the ground, running, ripping through trees, sliding, and stuff like that. So, that's why I bought this, because I thought this would kind of work like the sledge and be a really good ground pounder. Uh, I already knew by looking at it and the limited suspension that jumping would be very limited. The sledge can handle way bigger jumps than what this thing can. So if you're buying this thing as a, as a car to, to get big jumps, I'm gonna tell you that it's, it's really not gonna work for, for you. And I think other YouTubers have shown that in the videos, this thing does not jump very well at all. But you know, I just try to be honest before you spend your hard-earned money and I show you the vehicle. Now, I don't have anything against Traxxas. Every Traxxas I had up to this point, I absolutely love and I've defended them as a good company up until this point. But when I have a problem, I have to be honest and, and share that. I mean, could I would really love for Traxxas to send me cars and maybe I blew that chance now that I put out a bad video about them, but I'm not going to risk my name and integrity. And if people don't like that, too bad. Um, tell me I don't know I don't know how to drive and I don't know what traction rolling is. That's just pathetic, man. It's just childish behavior. If you don't agree with me, that's fine. Don't agree with me. You, you don't have to, but handle it like a, an adult. Don't, uh, you know, the name calling, tell me I don't know how to drive and all this other stuff. But um, I really want this RC to work. I... I think, you know, once we figure out what exactly the problem is, I think, you know, we can get it to work pretty good. It's just getting to that point. So I got a $700 RC, now I got a $100 servo, 40, 50 bucks in a servo saver, like 30, 40 bucks, like maybe 30 for the fan. Um, and I got some other stuff I, I have planned that I want to try. Shouldn't have to do that on a new car. And I just try to be like the mediator, you know, here's Traxxas selling you something, you're the public. I just try to share my experience with it as honestly as possible. Now, I know everybody's looking for something different in an RC. So, I don't say, you know, yay or nay or whatever. I just share my experience. If you don't like the ground pound and you want to jump, go straight ahead, then maybe it works. But to me, it shouldn't roll over that easy. And it's not my driving, all right? So, let's just get past that. So... 
I'm going to try to speed run this thing down the road, see if we can't keep it straighter. And then we're going to run it through here and see if maybe keeping these tires straight is the key to keeping this thing from flipping. So while I'm waiting on the GPS here with our beautiful GPS holder by RC Guy Garage, that thing is amazing. So if you're looking for something to hold your GPS, your Sky GPS, check out his website. But I'm just going to touch on dislikes real quick. I don't like it didn't come with the fan. This chassis collects a lot of dirt. Uh, servo, I'm kind of 50-50 on it. Servo Saber definitely was trash. It needed to be better. The belt of tires, I'm still on the air about. I do wish it had more suspension travel. And I really wish like here they would have put this plastic all the way back because there's some buckling here that maybe you could see. I don't know. It's kind of hard to. So if they would have ran this plastic all the way back, it would have strengthened it. And then probably too, probably like across here would have been nice. I do wish the ESCs were programmable like Horizon and that where you could turn up the punch. Uh, tracks and stuff is just kind of smooth. It's a little delayed uh, on the get-go. But, it, you know, I know some people it's a really sore spot. Uh, look at that we got gps uh, but other than that man i love i actually am a fan of the battery mount system i know some people aren't but you can easily measure and get batteries i run z batteries in my uh, xrt in that so you can get batteries that fit it's not really too much of a problem um, i love the clipless system for this vehicle i love the way it looks I really do love the way it looks uh, so I don't hate the vehicle I don't hate Traxxas so. but you know it's, it's got some flaws see that's another thing too I, I love how quiet this thing is you know normally you hear a lot of gear noise out of uh, RC's but this one's fairly quiet Oh, I do wish the uh, well, the wheelie bar was adjustable. Like, maybe we could move it up a little bit so it could stand on a wheelie more. Yeah, check out the new servo. Dude, that's got some kick. Alright, let's see. definitely going down the road a whole lot better definitely is I gotta avoid the center here it's got uh reflectors ah still got a lot of damn roll Ooh. Still got a lot of body roll. Snow servo is going to fix that. Oh, that's another thing with this car. Very durable. Extremely durable. I'll give it that much. Very durable. Ah. Right when you think you had it fixed. It does, it does appear to be driving better. I'll give it that. It's not tipping over as bad as it was. So I think the servo is definitely helping. Uh, let's check out a speed. Let's see what kind of speed we got. Fifty-nine. Oh, oh, oh. oh, so there was more in this car. Cause I think last time we got 57. 59. Wow. Almost wondering if the, like the TQI, you know, I have it like down to almost nothing. I'm wondering like the TQI is not interfering with something. Like it's. See how it's it's making that right hand turn on its own.
Let's see something here. Look, TQI is all the way down. Let's just try something here. Well, it doesn't appear to be doing anything. Huh, that's interesting. I don't really see... I don't see it doing anything, really. See, as soon as I give it gas... It just wants to go off to the left. Slow that down. To turn the steering sensitivity down to 55%. Uh, I do have the steering set at 80% because uh, the servo was it was locking so I had to like dial it back so it didn't smash into everything let's try that all right let's see oh yeah see now it's a little bit smoother on the turns let's see if we got this trim set Definitely more controllable. Ooh! Look at that, it did flip. This thing still makes like wild kind of adjustments. All right, I think enough playing on the street. Let's. Let's get it here where we had the problem. Ooh. Uh, I can't blame the car for that one. Can't blame the car for that. That was that was a pretty steep jump. It just didn't have the ground clearance to and it dug that front end in. See how it jumps down. Shit, I think this thing's doing a whole hell of a lot better. See? I was not able to do that before, and everybody said it was my driving. It's my driving. Well, not everybody. Oop. I still think there's something a little wacky with the TSM although I I don't know I just don't see it working look at it man dude you telling me now watch this video compare my and this is not a totally different RC now Oh. Tell me this is not a totally different RC. It's still going to have that when it hits bumps like if you hit bumps like that at full speed this ass end just wants to come up. And I really don't know what the fix is for that. See, look at that. It just kind of made like a left turn. And I didn't ask it to. I think something might be a little wacky with this receiver. The gyro in it. Look at that. It just did how many 360s at speed through the grass and did not flip. Oh man. Dude. 
It's a different RC now. Other than that, it's still kind of making uncommanded turns. I think that gyro, but dude, come on! I could never have done that before. And people were saying, "Oh, I don't know how to drive." <laughs> oh, hell yeah! You know, tracks and kiss my ass. Tell me not to run on six S. Beyond my skill, kiss my ass. Boom! Totally different car. Totally different. Traxxas should have freaking put the servo in here to begin with. Maybe the gyro is only set up to work when the car's flat. Maybe by tilting it that way. I don't know. Let's see if we pick it up. Maybe we get some. See, it's not doing anything. Oh, I guess I may if I turn it up. It's not. It's not doing anything. Let's try rebooting it. I guess I could. Oh, I think I did turn off GPS. Well, turn off the remote. I'm going to unplug this. There's no... Look, there's no... There's no TQI action. I could have sworn there was before. This servo is supposed to be set up for it. That's weird. But it seems like at times it's kicking on. Well, we'll see. Trax is supposed to have 30 days on their electronics, and that's the only warranty you got. So I'm going to tell them that this TQI is not working. All right, guys, I don't want to make this video terribly long, but man, I am, I am happy with this thing now. See, now the way it, it takes a turn, it's carrying that front wheel a little bit. It wasn't doing that before. I think the problem was the servo saver was so weak that the tires would hit something or get whatever, and it would snap. And that sudden movement is what caused the rollover. Now, we still... The, the rear suspension is still going to need some dialing in just to get it to calm down and not bounce so much. But, you know, that I can deal with. That'd just probably be some either springs or some shock oil. I think the front springs definitely need a little thicker shock oil, maybe. But, oh uh, man, come on. I couldn't see like it started going over and I was able to steer out of it. I will contact Traxxas though because something wrong with the, the TSI system in here. It's not, it's not working right. So I'll let you know what they say about that, but dude, the, the proof is right here. Same driver, same spot, same everything, same car, still on 6S. And this thing is freaking rocking. Even in the grass, this thing really struggled last time doing any kind of turns without some kind of flipping. Oop. Well, that just started getting sideways. That would have probably happened to any car. Cause see, it's just losing traction and it's going sideways. 
See, I'm not dumb, man. I, I know what the RC is doing. Maybe on video, like I said, I know it's hard for some people to see that. Um, it rained last night, so everything out here is really, really wet. Oh, no. Oh. I lost power there for a second. I thought maybe it, uh... But, man, dude, this is... Yeah, I'm happy now. I'm happy with this. Totally different RC now. See, even here in the grass, where it was really struggling, it's doing fine. Oh, yeah. Dude, that... Yeah, I'm, I'm happy with it now. I'm not happy I had to put $150 worth of parts into it. But you guys watched my last video, you know this this thing would not have done this at all. I mean look. It's going where I tell it to go for the most part. I'm almost wondering it's almost like the TSM kicks on when it wants to, because like right there I get this weird um when you go full throttle it seems to seems to trigger it. Where it makes this one weird turn. And maybe that's what was happening before. It made that turn and just that servo saver so weak it couldn't recover from that little glitch. But uh yeah, I'm thrilled, man. I am thrilled. I think we uh I think we like I said it's unfortunate. Uh and I could have fixed it for cheaper. It's ten dollars for the plate to adapt a standard servo to that. I already had a standard servo. Uh, I got it on Amazon, probably like 40 bucks. It was one of those, like, uh, the things that like Kevin Tolbert used to promote. I've had it for a long time. I just never needed it. So I hope I got a good one. I know he said they started turning the junk. But I think I had bought mine before he stated he had problems. Uh, so I hope. So, but the servo there. So maybe 100 bucks I could have got this thing. Dude, oh my god. This... Oh yeah, she's starting to lose battery. Starting to lose that battery. I don't know, you let me know. Redemption for the Max Slash? Is it redemption? I think it is. I think it's a totally different animal now. Servo saver. I, I think you could probably live without the servo. I know... I'm just going based on what Max owners said that was really weak. Um, but the servo saver itself had no tension in it whatsoever. I showed you on that last video. It just slopped around. had no tension. I think you can get by with the servo saver. Um, upgrade the servo if you got the money. Or just wait for the other one to burn out. <laughs> if it does. But definitely a servo saver. I feel like the key. Maybe even a servo. Because these are some heavy tires. Uh, and it just needs the extra strength to get this thing rolling, but yeah, I, I'm happy, man. I'm happy. This is a totally different animal now. Totally, man. She is freaking rocking. Still, like I said, need to work on the suspension a little bit. It's a little happy on the rear end when you, when you hit a bump, it just wants to kind of shoot up. So we need to slow that down a little bit and then need to get this front end up. I think a little bit, it'll, it'll help when you start hitting some of these like little ruts that it won't just dig in and flip. So maybe just, I don't know. But man, yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy, it's performing the way I thought it would now. So there you go guys, man, just everybody jumping my stuff. Gotta give it time for, to review and look and, and try to diagnose stuff, man. So, all right, hope you, uh, hope you guys approve of this video. Uh, man, I'm thrilled. I'm happy. It's actually working. I'm like I said, not thrilled to put so much money into it, but I think we found one of the root causes of the problem is that servo saver. So, hope you found this informative. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you on the next one.